The week of August 26-30 on Days of Our Lives promises to deliver a roller coaster of drama, deception, and unexpected twists that will leave Salem residents reeling. At the center of it all is Connie, whose tangled web of manipulation, murder, and schemes begins to unravel in shocking ways, putting several lives at risk and setting the stage for explosive confrontations. Connie's devious plans are catching up to her, but she's far from finished. This week, Melinda finds herself caught in Connie's web, completely unaware of the sinister trap she's been lured into. At first, Melinda is merely puzzled by her circumstances. But as the reality of Connie's sinister games dawns on her, confusion gives way to horror. Connie's hands are already stained with blood, Lee Shin and Everett are dead by her doing, and she's even taken a shot at ending Rafe's life. For Melinda, the grim realization that she's been drugged and manipulated by a ruthless killer is terrifying. Her world is about to be turned upside down as she realizes just how dangerous Connie is, and that she's potentially the next target if she doesn't tread carefully. As if manipulating Melinda wasn't enough, Connie shifts her focus to a new adversary, Ava. Ava's relentless efforts to publicly humiliate Connie in the office have not gone unnoticed, and it seems that Connie has reached her breaking point. This week, viewers will witness a tense showdown as Connie confronts Ava, issuing a chilling warning. Connie has no intention of being a laughingstock, and if Ava thinks she can keep undermining her, she may be in for a rude awakening. The stakes are high, and Connie might just be ready to take drastic action if Ava refuses to play by her rules. The office is now a powder keg, ready to explode. Meanwhile, Kristen finds herself increasingly suspicious of Abigail Demera, or rather, the woman who claims to be Abigail. Kristen has never been one to trust easily, and her instincts are buzzing with doubts about this mysterious woman's true identity. This week, Kristen advises Chad to be cautious and not to place too much trust in this supposed return from the dead wife. But will Chad heed her warning, or is he already too emotionally invested to see what might be right in front of him? Chad's dilemma runs deeper as he struggles to keep secrets from his son, Thomas. The little boy has noticed that his father is spending more and more time at the Demera mansion instead of their usual home with the Hortons. Chad knows that telling Thomas about Abigail's return, or at least the woman who looks like her, could lead to even more confusion. But secrecy has a way of backfiring in Salem, and it might only be a matter of time before Thomas gets a glimpse of the mysterious woman himself. If that happens, Thomas's innocent curiosity could lead to more questions than Chad is prepared to answer. The week of August 26-30 will be one where trust is tested, loyalties are questioned, and shocking truths may come to light. Stay tuned for more unpredictable twists and turns as the tangled lives of Salem's residents continue to unfold in ways no one could have seen coming.